I could be so much worse. Should I show you just how awful I really am? Oh, we murder him in the park and leave his body for the hobos to feast upon. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, hail companions. I am the Dracul the Dragon. If my voice sounds a little hoarse, that's because I just got done recording Fight Night. But anyway, enough dilly-dallying, let's get into it. Episode 2, Graves. You are finishing up what's left of your lunch. The consequences of your actions have yet to catch up with you, which is nice. There's nothing interesting in the paper, right? I'm not done reading. It's been a week. The odds that there's something now are non-existent. Just let me check. Uh, I'm bored. How much longer can we stay here anyway? We're almost out of money. Technically, I have money. I just can't use it without giving away where I am to the bank. So, no money then. And I don't get why they want to check my ID for every fucking thing. Like, damn, I just want to stay at the hotel. Why do you need to know who I am? I'm paying up front, aren't I? So it's not like I'd bail out on them. Boo-hoo. The motel is just fine, too. It's really not. I swear I heard gunshots last night. Or was that just you? I haven't shot anything. Yet. Ah! What? I think I left my gun. Uh-oh. I think I left my gun back in the room. I really wish you'd be less nonchalant about everything all the time. Hey, now, we can't both be constantly shitting ourselves over every little thing. True. Let's just get back to the motel before someone breaks in and steals the damn thing. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, I'm not. Wait, am I controlling? Yes, I am. <laughs> Can I talk to this person? I can. Are you looking for something specific? Nah, it's just window shopping. Oh, in that case, may I interest you in leaving me the fuck alone? <laughs> wow. The service here is better than usual. Wow. Should we be back here? Bio waste. Maybe you'll start eating out of here once your money runs out. <laughs> yeah. Recycling point that seems to double as a smoking area. Two, unemployment office. One, bank. Negative one, club S. I mean, six FU. Okay. Staff only, it says, and it's locked. All right, fine. Let's just get out of here. Oh, look. I just noticed that 666. There's a cult running around here. There is one. Ooh. <laughs> Fuck off from there. Okay, fine. Jesus Christ. Everyone here is so mean. An ad for coffee shop. It is difficult to imagine the aroma of a warm cup of coffee with trash rotting, rotting right next to you. Yeah. All right. Let's just let's just leave. I'm assuming the the one with the brightly lit brown door is our room. And thank God for that, a putrid stench wafts from within. There's a dead body in there, huh? <laughs> I, there is a dead body in that room. There's gotta be. The, the vending machine offers all kinds of enticing possibilities to waste your money on. But uh, it's probably best we don't do that. Although knowing Lele, she'll probably do it anyway, so who cares? Are you tired of living? <laughs> wow. Imagine an ad saying, hey, you want to die? Are you tired of living? Inquires the ad. Ask your doctor if euthanasia is right for you. What is this, Canada? 
You know, those suicide boosts from Futurama are quickly going to become a reality. But anyway, a soft drink ad. There are three new and exciting flavors. Limited time only. Try them now or miss out forever. Oh, a caramelized apple and cinnamon. I want to try that. We can't afford any nonsense right now. Oh, come on. Just a couple of bucks. You can have that or you can have dinner. It's up to you. Oh, this sucks. It's limited time too. Uh. The park is this way, but there's nothing interesting at this hour. All right. It's like a man, she's like a spoiled brat, ain't she? All right. Ah, messy as usual. Nothing surprising here. It's the paper from a few days ago. There's nothing worthwhile written on it. The paper isn't even comfortable enough to wipe your ass with. <laughs> all in all, a total waste of money. Oh, let me just pick up these clothing. These clothing, th these clothes. Andrew has been hoarding newspapers ever since you arrived. I suppose I should just throw these in the washer while I still can. That's a good idea, yes. A chemical leak in some city you've never been to. The article details instructions for people in the area to stay home and to seal their windows. Hazmat workers will be sent to rescue people block by block. That sounds kind of familiar. Oh wow, this apartment actually has a washer in it? That's crazy. I don't believe it. You throw the laundry in the washer. <laughs> okay. Oh, Andy. Hey, you. Aren't you tired of drinking the same old water every day? Yeah, it's so wet. Have you tried Toxy Soda? It's water, but worse. Now in three new flavors. Awful, gross, and nasty. Try them today. Mmm, toxic soda tastes like life. I don't know why I'm drinking this. <laughs> An endless slew of ads are playing. Wow. Hey, uh, hey at least that's creative. I like that. The closet is empty except for a dead body. You reclaimed your gun. That's not good. <laughs> Those, <laughs> Lele is the last person to have a gun. Though I suppose Andy is no better. Although it's not really yours anyway, but whatever. The warden's gun is yours now. I guess I'll take a new sleepy sleep. Leave it to Andrew to insist on getting a room with two separate beds. Um. Only to then have a panic attack every other night. Uh, that, that's not, that's not, it's not weird, okay? It's not weird. She's just comforting her brother. That's by laying with him. That's not weird. Some people, they need to be calmed down. They have panic attacks. You know, it's completely normal. It is completely normal for that, for people to do that. All right? It's... It, 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 it's, 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 it's normal, it's normal. It is completely normal. It is totally a-okay, don't worry about it. There's no pillow. Okay. Yep, it's, uh, what am I doing here? What, what's, wait, what's my objective? Go back to the apartment? I got my gun. Can I kill Andy? <laughs> okay, here we go. All done, you're welcome. Great, thanks. I really am such a sweetheart. You're so damn lucky to have me. Yeah, yeah. I cook and I clean and I'll feast on the eyes. Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch TV all day like a slob. Knock it off. You're not gonna be in the news, Andy. <laughs> look, at, 
like, what is that face? I was like, I told you not to call me that. <laughs> I should have known. Ooh, what are you gonna do about it, Andy? Gonna choke me out again, are you? Are you? <clears throat> do you want me to? Oh, come on, I'm kidding. It's all in good fun. I thought we were fine. We are! I'm just messing around. It's just a nickname. Get over it. It's the one thing I asked of you. And it's symbolic, dumbass. You and your romanticism. Shove it up your ass. I don't know what I was expecting. Listen, I'm behaving. What more do you want? I'm being so good to you. Are you? Because I'm getting the opposite impression here. Yeah, yeah. You think I'm so awful, huh? You want to see what it's like when I actually misbehave? I could be so much worse. Should I show you just how awful I really am? Go for it. Though you're going to find me a lot less accommodating than Andy. And now to some less important news. One of the quarantine apartments has had a bit of a situation. Nothing major, just a fire that burned the whole place down. Everybody died. Yes, everybody. A representative of the water company is here with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? Yes, my deepest condolences to the family members of the deceased. This apartment was most definitely not a wholly mismanaged mess. Better burn to the ground. Jesus Christ, the cynicism in this game. Therefore, it was so sad that this happened. <laughs> this game is so cynical, Jesus Christ. To ease the sadness, we recommend you try our toxic... You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. You have... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, we, to, to, you know, your family members, your mothers, your brothers, your fathers, your sisters, all died horribly and painfully in that fire. Hey, try our toxic soda to help calm your nerves. We just rolled out three new exciting flavor. Excuse me, sir. Something seems to be going wrong with your microphone. I'm sure you mean to say the drink our trusty bubbly bubbly, which happens to be our sponsor. Oh my. These... The, th this game is filled with the most horrible people imaginable. No wonder the main characters, Andy and Lele, are so messed up. They are a product of their environment and their home life. No wonder. And it doesn't even make your organs bleed out of your ass, unlike some alternatives. Anyway, that was all for now. Tune in again later for more wholesome news to cheer up your day. That was our apartment, wasn't it? Was being the correct tense indeed. Did I leave the oven on? It said everybody died. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Um, they must think we died too. And all the evidence of our escapades, let's say, has been incinerated. Hmm, I wonder about that. <laughs> I told you it'll work out. That still leaves us homeless and just about penniless. Whatever. Things are clearly going to sort themselves out. I'm going to get some sleep. Good night. I'm going to stay up a bit longer. Maybe the late night news will have more information on the fire. Suit yourself. I'm going to bed. As usual, you fall asleep without a care in the world. Uh-oh. Someone has entered the room. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Uh-oh. Wake up, Andy. Wake him up right now. Wake up! We gotta go! Huh? Uh? Hmm? 
Get up! I had a vision! We're about to get killed! We gotta go now! Uh huh. Uh. Go where? The park? No, that's a bad idea. Let's go to the public area. So, you want to stay here and see if the killer actually shows up? And what did I do to deserve to get murdered in my sleep for anyways? Might be a bit risky staying here. You don't know which direction they came from, right? Assuming anyone shows up anyway. They will, I'm sure. And so you stand there and wait. And wait. And wait. And he's a smoker. Andrew lights up his fourth cigarette. Another one? Way to blow money. Blow it out your ass. I'm bored and cold. You're probably cold because that crap messed with your blood circulation. Okay, mom. Makes you impotent too, by the way. It didn't sound like I'd be meeting any girls anytime soon anyway. What's stopping you? <laughs> the nerve. The nerve. Yeah. <laughs> I feel it too. I feel, I feel it too, Andrew. <laughs> uh, I said enough! Quiet, you. I thought we were hiding. Uh-oh. Lucky for you, it wasn't the guy who you're expecting to come slit your throat. Though he sure looked familiar anyway. Didn't we eat that guy? Don't say that too loud! Oh, oh, sorry. Didn't we chop that guy up and store him in our freezer? Ashley, come on! <laughs> Seriously, though, I guess there's more where he came from. Where do you suppose he was off to? Why, a sex and drugs party with demons, duh. Why are you asking me? Whatever, should we follow him? But I'm trying to see if my visions come true or not. It's not like we both have to be here. You really don't want to stay in here alone in the middle of the night. But you're also curious about what this cultist lookalike is up to. Ugh, fine, let's, you go, you go. But come back soon. Oh, I'm Andrew. Nice. All right. Uh. Uh oh. Wait, hold the door, please. Run, sucker, run. The elevator leaves before the third cultist can board. Ha 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 ha! Curse you, brats. Ah. Uh. Huh. I think it's quite obvious what, wait, what? I think it's quite obvious what the code is. I mean, come on. A child could figure this out. <laughs> of course. I don't know why I even entertain the idea of it being anything else. Uh-oh. Huh? What? Who let you in? Sorry, was I not supposed to be here? This is a private event. Shoo, shoo. Uh, sorry, I got lost. Wait, okay, I, I'm gonna say, is this the sex and demons party? Isn't this the demon sex party? What, what? I hope not, my wife would kill me. What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing. I do have a wife. No, there's no demon sex party. Oh, well, just regular demon summoning then? I mean, that's what I was told, but listen, who the hell invited you? You're not even dressed properly. 
Right. Sorry, I didn't know there was a dress code. I don't even... I don't know who told you about today, but you can go kick rocks. All right, all right, all right, I'll go. No harm done. I can't believe this. They literally invite anyone these days, huh? That just means Six Eyes is getting popular. We should be glad. So I'm guessing our neighbor was part of these guys' little club. We're pretty far from home, though. Maybe they gather at multiple locations? Can these guys actually summon demons, though? I mean, our neighbor managed it eventually, but... You decide you should get inside somehow and find out. Well, the elevator is no-go. Uh, mixed waste. My question is... Okay, we need to find a robe, all right? Let's go get Ashley. I mean, Lele. Wait, is her name Ashley? Andy and Ashley? It is, right? Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> it's not like I've been playing this game. <laughs> I don't even know the character's name. Uh -huh. There's a bunch of call girl ads stuck to the wall. Oh my, maybe I should leave my number here. <laughs> I do love her sense of humor. I really do like Lele, but gosh, she's too crazy. She's too crazy. And there's one thing I've been told is don't stick your dick in crazy. Don't do it. It might be crazy fun, but God, you'll regret it later. So don't do it. Don't do it. You can't fix her. You can't. Don't even try. You can't. You can't. Don't even try. Just, just draw hentai for other. I don't care. Just, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> it's not worth it. Absolutely not. What? We need the cash and it would be a tax free to boot. Say another word and I'll backhand you. Sheesh. Learn to take a joke, jackass. Learn to make a joke, dumbass. You're so out there that I can't tell whether you're being serious or not. I'm obviously not being serious. We don't even own a phone right now. <laughs> we don't even own a phone right now. And would you honest to God backhand me just like that? Well, not right here, anyway. Wow. Okay, wife beater. <laughs> Aw, don't say that. It's only towards you, honestly. Gee, thanks. All done. Just checking to see if you're dead yet. No one has showed up. Maybe it was a vision from some other night? Though, if we're leaving this morning, how could that be? Some nightmares are just that. I don't have nightmares. This was the first one ever. What? Really? I have nothing but nightmares. Either way, I'm all good. Go back to snooping on the cultists. I don't know how to get in, though. They told me to get lost. Ah, I need a smoke. Go have it elsewhere. I've had enough of your secondhand smoke for tonight. Okay, fine, I will. Uh, but where? Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Now you know where all the cultists get their extremely fashionable robes. Sadly, the shop is closed and you can't buy one right now. Hmm. Who said anything about buying? <laughs> what if we, uh... Okay, never mind. Never mind. All right, uh, let's just go somewhere else then. Amongst the other crap the vending machine offers, caramelized apple and cinnamon soda. Ew, God, that sound, that is, that does sound disgusting. You wonder if you should buy Ashley some after all. Should I? I mean, she is my sister, right? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay, now what do I? Now what do I do, huh? You keep hoping there'd be something useful in these papers, but there never is. Uh. 
Um. Oh, oh God, that scared me. <laughs> I flushed the toilet, <laughs> that scared me actually. <laughs> oh, hey, Lele, I got you a soda. Hey there, I got you something. Ooh, is that? You hand her the caramelized apple and cinnamon soda because I'm a good brother. I know, I disappoint myself too. I can't believe they got me with their limited time only BS. Yes, thank you. Let me try some right now. Ashley opens the can and takes a sip. Well, any good? You can have the rest. So it's gross too? That's just great. <laughs> it tastes like what nail polish smells like. What a waste of money. Not at all, my curiosity is sated. Chemical burn on my tongue aside, I really am mighty pleased with this random act of kindness. What do you want in return? My <laughs> oh no! 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 Ah. Uh. No! I should have bought the drink! We're getting the incest one, aren't we? We're getting the incest ending, aren't we? This right here determines the incest ending, doesn't it? This determines the ending, doesn't it? I gave my sister the soda, and so my sister fucks me! <laughs> oh, God. Okay. What do you want in return, my virginity? <laughs> I can't even read it. I can't even read it. I can't read it. Uh, okay, hold on. This one. This would dearly be as awkward if they weren't brother and sister, but Jesus. 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 <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> Je <laughs> I can't say it. I can't say it. <laughs> okay. Oh, deep breaths. Deep breaths. <sighs> Take a sip of water. Mm. And some good water. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Jesus Christ! That's enough of that. <laughs> I mean, if you go to the bar and a dude buys you a drink, isn't that the logical conclusion? <laughs> Which bar is this? I should go sometime. Actually, that doesn't make any sense. I doubt the bar browsing bitches are very virginal. How judgmental of you. She takes another sip of the soda. God help me. Ugh, that's nasty. You don't have to finish it, just throw it out. Never, it was a gift. Oh God. Oh God. What have I done? What have I done? I'm gonna get the incest ending without even trying, aren't I? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna incest my sister. Like we down in Alabama. I'm gonna incest my sister. <laughs> like we down in Alabama. <laughs> Ugh. Uh. What do I care what those clowns are up to anyway? You decide that if you, if a way forward doesn't strike you before you're done with your smoke, you'll just call it quits. Okay. And then, just as you're putting your smoke out, there's a key under the cigarette butt jar. Oh, nice. The employee key. Well, well, well. Ooh. 
the drabest set of drapery you have ever laid your eyes upon. Curtains. Someone has left a note. It reads, To whomever, to whomever ate my casserole, I will have your head on a plate. Ah, the office life. Same shit, different toilet. There's a crumpled note in the trash. It reads, Stop eating my lunch, you animals! Ha! <laughs> Beautiful. The top layer is full of cake. Lower has some paper cups. Hmm. Hmm. Yummy. I wonder if I can use these to seduce my sister even more. <laughs> On the cart sits a plate full... On the car sits plates full of cake and a coffee dispenser. What's with the cakes? It's a bit late for a work meeting. <gasps> the elevator is coming up. Oh, <clears throat> um. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> uh this is going to take two trips. Grumbling as he goes, the cultist takes one of the carts down the elevator with him. Ooh. Oh, oh, hide underneath it. Remove paper cups from the cart, baby. You could certainly squeeze yourself into the cart now, but you'd also be seen instantly. Well, what do I do? Oh, ooh, the curtains. You pull down one of the curtains. You got curtains. You wrap yourself in the curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself in the cart. Beautiful. Super smart, me. Oh, thank you, me. You're so intelligent. Oh, I know I am. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I thought, I thought I got caught there. The cultist hastily shoves a piece of cake into his mouth. Hmm. Oh, Dark Lord. That's good. <laughs> He carts you into the elevator. How is this cart so much heavier than the others? <gasps> Could it be? The weight of my sins? No! <laughs> <clears throat> okay, 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 okay. Be cool, be cool. No one has to know, no one has to know. It's between me and the devil. Just act normal. Did, did, did I miss it? Can't see anything from here. Huh? Ahem. <clears throat> Ahem. <clears throat> well then, everyone, the ritual is all set up. Now, I know you're all excited about the free coffee, but first things first. All together now. Show yourself, Lord Unknown. This is such fun. Reveal yourself to us, Lord Unknown. The cultists keep calling for Lord Unknown for a while. But it's becoming increasingly clear nothing is going to show up. Wow, <laughs> look at this amateur hour. My Ashley summoned something on her first try. Though that's probably not a good thing, is it? No. No, it's not! <laughs> I feel the Lord Unknown is with us today, but only in spirit. Um, I brought the carts down, but someone stole one of the cakes. I don't know who. Ooh, ooh, can we have some now? <sighs> yes, please enjoy yourselves. Uh-oh. <gasps> <clears throat> Where are your robes? Uh, sorry, the thing is, I spilled some coffee on them. <laughs> Idiot. Oof. Yikes, that was close. Not if you got your answers. Oh, no. Oh, God, I should never, I shouldn't have bought the soda. I should not have bought the soda. You see what that says? That says you miss Ashley. 
I should not have bought the soda. I should not have bought it. I should not have bought it. I should not have bought it. Oh, should I be here? Um, I I probably shouldn't talk to these guys. I'm going to anyway. It should be fine to take two pieces, right? Look how many there are. Oh yeah, it's fine. Totally, dude. <clears throat> now this is how you enter. <laughs> this is how now this right here is how you infiltrate a cult. Everybody, everyone, take notes. He's too busy eating cake to care. Good, good, good. Wow, someone is undressed. These cheap asses offer milk for the coffee instead of cream. Also, the beer they sell tastes like piss. Not that I ever drank piss or anything. I'm just, you know. We'll, we'll say something. Converse. Where'd you hear about this gathering in the first place? The occult magazine I'm subscribed to. The occult magazine I'm subscribed to had an ad. I figured it was going to be lame, but I thought I'd come check it out since I don't live too far away. What about you? Same. Anyway, I gotta go. It was nice talking to you. See you next time. What next time? I thought she didn't like it here. Should not be over there. They know me. <clears throat> I'm on a stage. <laughs> it's like I'm famous. <laughs> she has begun singing. People are staring. Time to get out of here. Yep. Time to leave. Wait. No service right now. Oh, wow. I wonder why. Um, all right, I'm time to get time to leave. I'm going out this way. Never mind, I'm going out the other way, I guess. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, didn't we already tell you to beat it? Oh, are they done? How did the summoning go? Ah, no! Look, man, you're ruining the whole vibe with that get up. Yeah, you can't come in here dressed like this again. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. You know what? I think you're right. Shame on me. I'll leave right away. Um, good, good, good. Just don't let this happen again. Have a good night. Wow. These guys, these guys aren't very smart, are they? Oh, Ash of Olay. My sexy ass sister. I mean, my <coughs> my dear sister. <coughs> Are you done snooping on the cultists? Yeah, so there's apparently a little cultist club where they all gather around for some demons and treats. But they can't summon for shit. Absolutely nothing showed up. Nothing showed up on this end either. I don't understand. It was a vision for sure. There was like... You hear a car. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. It, 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 that, that's him. That's him. That's him. That's the guy who slit our throats in my dream. Yikes. He really just went in our room just like that. You still doubted me? Where'd you get the key? Should we just leave? We're supposed to vacate the room in the morning anyway. Our stuff is still in there. What stuff? We sold off most of the junk you were hoarding. And I can live without the trash and laundry. Well, like someone pointed out, we can't keep wasting money buying new clothes. I am not risking my life getting in there to rescue your socks. It's my better bra, actually. This new one sucks. Still not interested. In fact, I'm somehow even less inclined now. Sc uh, you know nothing of my troubles. Regardless, I think we have to kill that guy, though. This is no random burglary. He's specifically after us for whatever reason. Like, somehow he tracked us down. So, even if we run away now, won't he keep coming after us? That's not wrong, but... Uh, and why is he still in the room? We're not even in there. Well, if I was him, I'd figured we're out getting food or something. So now he's probably waiting to kill us upon entry. 
unlikely since he wants to go about his... Well, unlikely since he wants to go about this quietly. Um... <laughs> he's definitely hiding in the closet or something, waiting for us to go back to sleep. Then he'll kill us in our sleep, just like in my vision, again. And you know this how? I know because that's what I do, duh! Plus, he's using a knife, so there. Listen, Andrew, just trust me. I thought these things through. You question not why she's thought about such things. <laughs> Now enough dilly-dallying, let's get in there and pretend we forgot something. Enough dilly-dallying? Oh my god. That's something I say. Guys. Am I a psychopath? Am I a, <laughs> am I a psychopath? Really? <laughs> I'm starting to question this more and more as I play this game. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> then we'll lure him in somewhere less conspicuous. And then what? You have to ask. <sighs> we kill him. The park. We murder him in the park and leave his body for the hobos to feast upon. Yes, let's do it. All right, leave this to me. This has got to be the stupidest thing we've done so far. Personally, I think shooting fireworks indoors was dumber, but hey, opinions. Which, if I may add, was also your idea. I was 12! You should have stopped me! So, should I talk you out of this one, or... No, shut up and follow my lead. Okay, now I'm playing as Ashley. Look at that little face. Surely she can't be evil, right? <laughs> the devil wears mascara sometimes. Anyway. <clears throat> Should I save? No one has stepped forth to kill you yet. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, jolly Andrew, I just realized our impromptu night walk to the store has left me parched. Is that so? Let us return to the gas stop at once. And since we want to be uh, so quick about it, let's take a shortcut through the park. Where we, where, <laughs> where we may frolic amongst the foliage shielded from sight. Oh my god. How's that sound, huh? Terrific, let's go. Not so fast. Let me grab my things first. I just realized that I don't trust the staff here. Given that I'm about to roam about with a hitman around, would you like to save the game? Don't tell me what to do. Yes, yeah, save the game. If I open the door, you'll just straight up kill me. I saved the game. Got washed laundry. Yay, I can now wear a nice comfortable bra now. Hey, don't I have a gun? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save again. I, <laughs> he's gonna kill me, right? <laughs> well, congratulations, you found the hitman and died, which is the best part. For the record, Andrew doesn't fare much better. When it comes to cutting people up, the hitman whoops his amateur ass dead. Though given his romantic streak, he probably didn't want to live without you anyway. I bet you'd be happy about that if you were too fucking dead to feel anything. Wow. The hitman wins and... Oh wow, that's... Okay. The hitman wins! <laughs> ah, yes, the world is a much better <laughs> without you. However... This is all so anticlimactic. You get a free do-over. Sure, why not? What if I do it again? <laughs> no, we're not doing that again. <laughs> okay, fine. Screw you. <laughs> I just had the dough, okay? I just had the dough. Mm. All right, I flushed the toilet. All right, let's go. Holding the door open for me, are we? What a gentleman. 
just letting in some fresh air and the sounds of the city. Hurry up and get your things already. I already did. Okay, let's go. What if we just, I don't know, wait? Like, I don't know. Okay, so yeah, this guy is apparently serious business. He's too skilled to fight head on. We're gonna have to ambush him. Ooh, Hitman's car. The car is locked. If this is that guy's car, right? Want to break in and wake every single person on the premises? Why on earth would you want to do that? Uh, I thought you wanted to, you know, off the guy. The last thing we need is an audience. Oh, right. Cars have alarms. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, at least I asked before doing it. Jesus Christ. Okay, moving on. Is, is he coming after us or not? I don't know. I thought he would. Let's pick a corner we can ambush him from. What corner? It's all bushes. Oh, there's a shopping cart over here. The bad thing, shopping cart. Very classy. Okay. Well, what freaking bush? There's like a Oh, here. This tree will hide us nicely. What are we going to do if he just stays at the motel? Well, I guess we'll just have to leave then. We'll grow eyes in the back of our heads and keep watching over our shoulders at all times. Ugh, what a pain. I can't believe I'm actually hoping he show up now. Good, don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. And on that note... Not it! What? You're making me do it again? Dude only has a knife. You got this. Right. Ah, I hear footsteps, I, I think. Ashley, wait, I've never fired a gun. Crap, I think he stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. Uh-oh, you can't ambush a killer that's waiting to ambush you. And you can't very well start looking for him either. Not without letting him know that you know he's here. Crap, did we whisper to it loudly? Is he on to us? Why'd he stop? To see what we're up to? Bet this all looks suspicious as hell. This doesn't look like anything. He shouldn't even be able to see us from behind this. Any idea hits you then? Oh, oh, you dirty boy. No, we can't do it here. What? <laughs> Off I go, come and find me. I don't want to. Actually, seriously, I, I don't know how this thing works. No peeking. Oh my God. Great. You're Andrew. Time has come to play hide and seek with the killer and Ashley. Oh boy, here we go. I save it again. I'm gonna check. Um. I wonder. Nothing. Oh, oh, there he is. Which one? Shoot. Did, did, did uh, I, is he dead? Nice work. Ashley reclaims her gun. <laughs> I knew you had it in you. I have, a, I have a few choice words to say to you, but this is neither the time nor the place. Let's get going before someone comes to see what's up. Well then, we can't just shoot. <laughs> well then, we can just shoot them too. Don't think we'll always be so lucky. Oh yeah, and what the fuck was that? What was, what was what? You running out, you running off out of the blue. What? You need an excuse to start rummaging through the bushes. And now that the hitman thought you were looking for me, he sat there waiting to kill you. He didn't know you had a gun and would kill him instead. I'm a bloody genius. And what if he was in the bush you ran off to, huh? Genius. Well, he wasn't. Uh, quit your bitching. It all worked out. Clue me in the next time you have these genius ideas, will you? 
so that I can tell you off. <laughs> well, well, we got him. Did we just, do we just leave him here? Why not? As long as no one saw us do it, who's going to have a clue it was us? Hell, this guy carries knives with him. He's clearly a criminal. Maybe the authorities will assume his friends got to him or something. Ever the optimist. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just go before someone comes to walk their dog or something. You got the car keys, hell yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Leave those fingerprints all over that guy. Just, that's just great. I'm sure you meant to say something else. I guess it doesn't, I guess it doesn't matter since you've never gotten your fingerprints taken. Have you? Yeah. Ugh, motherfucker, what for? My driver's license. Well, good thing it's me manhandling this corpse then, huh? Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha, he's fucking dead. <laughs> that motherfucker is fucking dead. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Okay, you know what, companions? I am going to save. I'm going to end it right here, all right? I don't know how long this episode is. It's going to be kind of short. But I got to end it here. I'm, I've run out of time. So, uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed The Coffin of Andy and Lele as much as I did, please hit like, subscribe, share, the bell, and what have you not. <laughs> Other buttons, whatever. Leave a comment down below. I like reading comments. Well, anyway, companions, I have been... Oh, wait, before I go... I just want to say one thing to the creator if they just so happen to say this. Good job. This is a very good game, all right? I know that this game has brought you a lot of hardship. A lot of people have tried to dox you and is undeserved, all right? You have talent. The writing and the character creation and the humor is good. I... Love this game so far. I love this game. And think of the controversy in this way, all right? Yes, you've had to go underground and scrub yourself off the internet. But at the same time, the controversy has probably brought you far more attention and fans than it otherwise would. For example, myself. I never would have given this game the time of day, all right? If I didn't hear about it through the controversy and hearing about the incest ending thing. So thank you for making this game. You have done an amazing job. Do not let all these jabbering goblins tell you what you can and cannot do. Don't listen to them. You have talent and you should be proud of what you have created. So, yeah, I just wanted to say, good job, creator. You've done good. You have nothing to be ashamed for. Absolutely nothing. Well, anyway, companions, I have been Dracul the Dragon, and I bid thee farewell. As usual, you fall asleep without a care in the world. Excuse me. As usual, you fall asleep without... Jesus. As usual, you fall asleep without a care in the world. <laughs> it tastes like what nail polish smells like. 
It tastes like what nail polish smells like. Smells? It tastes like what... Oh my... It tastes like what nail polish smells like. It tastes like what nail polish smells like. <laughs> then we'll lure him in somewhere less conspicuous. Conspicuous. Then we'll lure... <laughs> Bye-bye! <laughs> Bye-bye!